What is going on guys, Mobile Carrier News here, and in this article we're going to be discussing all three carriers, T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T, and they're saying who currently has the best of everything so far, aside from 5G coverage. So we're going to scroll down here, and it's basically saying, uh, I'll leave a link below in the article, it's saying um, which carrier has enough car uh, you know, coverage, and it basically it's saying... You know, it, it was talking about Umlauts, um, Umlauts um, what they were saying about how T-Mobile is, which technically is, you know, it's true. It's not a lie. T-Mobile's coverage is, you know, the highest with 5G. But now they want to compare all three to see what's actually going on and who has which of the best. So we're scrolling down here is basically saying, you know, it's the same thing. Conducted speed tests, 1.1 billion users. And basically these are the results of the 5G score head and shoulder above the competition and basically it says here they said but t-mobile somehow wins the 5g score now i'm not really surprised i'm not really like in surprise here i am in shock though at&t is on the second now i wish this was a better picture of it but this is the 5g score and that's i'm honestly really surprised that at&t came in second and verizon is liz like came in last usually AT&T is last on their 5G pops, but somehow they managed to beat out beat Verizon at their own 5G speeds, um, which is very shocking. But, you know, you know, it is what these carriers are doing. And I'm curious to see how it will be next year. But this is shocking that a that obviously T-Mobile is like obviously a given its first place and AT&T second place and Verizon's third. So that's shocking to me. So we're going to scroll down here now, and it says T-Mobile 6, Ver uh, Verizon 1, AT&T 0. So you can see coverage. We got, we got obviously, uh, obviously T-Mobile on the coverage-wise. They won on that one. The latency, Verizon won that one. So that's obviously, Ver so the coverage, first it's uh, T-Mobile, then AT&T, then Verizon. So that's what the coverage is. The latency it's uh it, it's Verizon, T-Mobile and AT&T and it's for stability T-Mobile tops up that one. Surprisingly AT&T won the second one and, and Verizon won the last one. So I'm I'm very I'm very shocked about that one. For T, um that AT&T got another second place. I thought, you know, AT&T would get dead last because but AT&T is really uh, you know turning around here on getting stability on second place. So that's very interesting. So we're going to scroll down here. This is download up and upload. As you can see further, I think that's the download. The download, obviously, we got T-Mobile. Uh, second place, Verizon. Third place, AT&T. And then we got this, basically the same result. For upload, it's eight. It's T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T. So basically, it's, the sa it's basically the same way, you know. Um, T-Mobile first. Um... Verizon second, AT&T last. So that's what that is. And I think there's one more spot to that. I think there's one more. No, that's pretty much it. So that's basically it. This, uh, this, the download and upload was, was very interesting. The coverage and latency and stability was very, very interesting. But this one right here, the 5G score caught me off guard. I did not expect AT&T to hit second place. I know 5G is, I, I know, oh, sorry, AT&T is working on 5G and mostly fiber. But I guess AT and T is doing pretty good. They they might maybe, maybe we got some early clearance and we're able to dominate Verizon. But um, that's actually not bad. Uh, what, let me know what you guys think about this one. This is very interesting. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe for to subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys. In the